Hi guys. So uh, welcome back. We're vlogging for you. Um, we're heading to the airport on our trip to Greensboro, North Carolina. We're going to the Wyndham Golf Championship. It's like a five-day event. Um, it's usually a lot of fun. It has like a lot of dinners, sponsors, parties, welcome events, farewell events. So we're going to show you guys um, a bit of everything that we're going to be doing. It's like a mini vacation for us that Adam won um, through his job. So, um, they have a different event for us each and every day and each and every night. So um, we're going to be attending all of it. So it's going to be a lot of fun and we can't wait to share it with you. Yeah, so stay tuned for all the fun and excitement. We're going to show you guys. Say cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. You're so silly, man. Oh, it's good. Nice. I'm having a cosmopolitan. Is it good? Yes. I yeah. normally have the um, mimosa, which I love. And Adam has his usual. Always have a Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Look at it. He's all ready. I never really I only drink a Bloody Mary in two places. Before I get on an airplane and on the golf course. That's it. And they're wonderful drinks for those two occasions. Golf course and before I get on the Love Bloody Marys. Guys, we almost missed our flight. <laughs> Doing our regular um, pre-flight drinks and food. And look at Adam's face. Yeah, they took too long to bring it out. Chicken Caesar salad, that's all I wanted. Two Bloody Marys. Two. Two Bloody Marys. And now Two. he's, he had to drink it really quickly, so he's a little As I'm tumbling them, <laughs> I'm tumbling the tumblers. Okay, uh -huh. one for you, one for me, thank goodness. So at least I can keep one. Sure. And pecan crisp cookies. That's and, it? And the bag. Alright. Alright. Awesome. Hi guys, so we're dressed and ready to head on to the welcoming event. The welcoming event. The welcoming event. <laughs> Where we get like, it's like kind of like a tapas. Well, it's a tapas, yes, uh, buffet style tapas. Yeah. Um, the food is, last year, the food was just out of this world. It was phenomenal. Uh, the pasta station is what we discovered last year. Yeah, so we'll see what's available this year. And Some speakers. Um, we'll have a golf guest. Like well, a, uh, a golfer from the Wyndham Championship will speak to us as well. Uh, I think a band. Uh, comes later in the night, so yes. we will hopefully be dancing the night away. So we're really going to have a uh, wonderful night. Looking forward to it. All right, guys, look out for the action. Merchandise. Like I 
I was checking out some girl skirts, guys. This is like $148. Ridiculous. You're talking about the skybox on 17. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. That's exactly where we're. Yep. Thank you again. about to do. We're about to tube on the Delaware River. Is it oh. the Delaware River? Yes ma'am. Yes. For approximately an hour and a half. In a circle floating donut. How do you feel about this uh, endeavor? I have slight anxiety. Do you? Yes. But Cheryl and I'm slightly you nervous. are a unicorn. You don't need to come that close. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am a unicorn. To... Okay. And I do have wings. Oh, this is but if true. my wings get wet, I won't be able to fly. That's where I come in. I will take care of your wet wings so you can still fly. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. So we're on our anniversary trip. We decided to do something kind of low-key and chill. Do more of like outdoor activities, which I love, Adam loves. And um, yeah, something close by. So we're actually in the Poconos Mountains in Pennsylvania. And um, it's really nice. I love that it's so tranquil and peaceful and all the trees and the rivers and the mountains. I love it. So yesterday we had dinner at Carteret. Carteret. Um, Summit Point, I think the name of it is. And we had a beautiful view. It was amazing. Uh, food was okay. I wouldn't say it was spectacular. It was alright. But the view was beautiful. Why is that dinner? Um, I thought it would be great for us to reflect on our past year of marriage and um, just acknowledge the things that we've accomplished, whether individually or together, um, to acknowledge it, to, because sometimes I think we, we're so 
wrapped up in our minds of the things that we haven't achieved yet that we overlook the things that we have achieved and we lose appreciation and what we need to keep in mind is that those little little achievements they all um, amount to the big goal to the end goal so we went over a couple of things that we accomplished in our second year of marriage can't believe it's two years already um, so some of the things we went over is the fact that we bought a home um, the stuff that we started to remodel in the home um, Adam had some really great personal achievements break wise that I'm so proud of him for and he's outdoing himself already in 2019 which I'm so proud of him um, break wise for me I accomplished a couple of things starting off a new career in real estate so that was that was awesome and, um, and then we also discussed areas of improvement where we can improve things that we can work on individually as in personally for ourselves as well as for our relationship and um, we set new goals of things we wanted to achieve together and individually whether it's career uh, personal development health stuff and um, new things we want to try and do and stuff like that so i think it was like a pretty productive conversation we had at dinner and i think it's important for couples to review these things because it helps remind you of the great moments you would have had in your last year um, and you can do this at any point in time whether it's at the beginning of the year when there's new years and you feel like doing that but i think it's good for us to do it on our anniversary it helps us reflect on all the good times we've had all the happiness all the wonderful moments our first christmas in our new home with our family it was great my family came and visit around thanksgiving we had a great time all the different trips we took and birth birthdays we celebrated and and stuff like that and um yeah, that was awesome and then we already started on our trip for this year so we already started for year three yeah you know i love when she and i get a chance to do stuff like we're doing right now and all the other trips that we've done and and even you know just days when you and i just go to the beach and hang out i love you know i love it all so we really had a special year sweetheart yes we did have an awesome year and we look forward to what year number three brings it's going to be better hey guys <laughs> so anna is here adam's there coco cameo so today we're just like vlogging we're on the beach uh hanging out yeah um and just chilling you know um i have magazines to read or to look at <laughs> and what are you reading babe the little the little money bible are you seeing yourself yes so he's being all productive and i am not trying to be productive and relaxed at the same time productive and relaxed <laughs> so yeah guys so throughout the day we'll update you share with you what we're doing what we're up to we were being eaten by um greenheads because we're in brigantine beach on the sea wall but, but this little thing the this, no bite me cream this saved us the no bite me cream is awesome and here for kids and it smells delicious <laughs> yeah we actually got that when we were on our trip in the Poconos so anybody that has been up there and get that cream it works it works wonders it's awesome I'm gonna do an advertisement so we were getting hammered a moment ago because greenheads are all over Brigantine Beach on the north end Anastasia bought this little stuff in the Poconos, it's called No Bite Me. I hate creams, I didn't want to put it on. I had no choice because we were getting eaten alive and we put this stuff on and it's, the scent is unbelievable. It smells wonderfully actually, it smells wonderful. And all of the bugs have magically disappeared. Magically dis, oh, I got a bug on me. Never mind. <laughs> but it went away. It jumped on my leg and went away. Awesome. No bite me, no bite me. Alright guys, <laughs> keep posted. <laughs> so we're heading out now. And now we're going to get one of our summer favorites, which is snow, snow crabs. crabs. <laughs> we love eating snow crabs, so we're gonna find out a spot where we'll go. Oh, sure. know? No? Alright. Oh, let's go. You can go to Lagoon oh, if you want. Mike. Yeah, yeah, guys. So Sorry. we're driving off of the beach now. So we're probably gonna check out Lagoon and bring in team. 
and see if they have any snow crabs. All my favorite spot for seafood in Bernadine is actually the Crab Shack, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, but they don't really have much seating area for us, for anyone. Actually, it's very small. All right. So All right, we're, we're out. We're on the road. We did it, love. We did it. Nice yes, job. We did. All right. See you guys. And vegetables. I how, many, no vegetables. how many times have we had crab legs this year? I don't know. Countless. We've had, and this will be crab shack, chicken and peas. We did chicken and peas a lot. Crab shack, chicken and peas, All high point. High point. Laguna, no. Laguna. That yeah. might be at four different yeah. places. Yes. Yeah. So it's our yeah. first time we're trying it this year, but that's our uh, first time at Laguna. This at year. Laguna, we're doing it. But, um, yeah, we're trying to have at least crab legs once a week, so that's our thing. Yeah. And I'm getting better at opening up the crab legs and stuff. Guys, he would finish his crabs faster than I did, and I would want to know why. I'm like, I was how is he I able? Was I was accused of not... I was like, how is he able to finish his crabs so quickly? Now, granted, he eats quickly all the time. And then... I don't have what time. Up? I just want to eat them. I just want to eat the god darn crabs. So then one day I inspected his leftover crabs, and there was a ton of meat left over. And ever since and then, I then, went through it and I ate all the extra meat, like clumps of and I, meat. And I got, I got and pissed. He got pissed. <laughs> so now he eats his crab like so clean. I eat him clean. That now. nothing's left. Nothing's left. left. I will eat nothing. <laughs> no meat left. That's it. I got pissed that she had all this extra crab meat. So. I've learned, I learned my lesson. Oh, my Caesar dressing came. I was wondering if it was used by somebody else or it spilled out on its way to the table. <laughs> Do we toasting too? Are you toasting too? Toasting maybe you and I, love. I always toast to you and I. Alright, All right. cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yes. I find the crabs look a little small though. I think we've been spoiled with um, chicken and peas. Ch yeah. But you don't get any sides with chicken and peas. How much crab he's already eaten? That's his plate. This is mine. What do you have to say for yourself? I have to get every last piece and bit of crab like that. Those are the pieces that I wasn't getting the last time that I got eaten. But you're still doing it really quickly. I got better. You got better. Yes. <laughs> With repetition comes improvement. <laughs> We've been eating a lot of crab this year. There's crab all over Adam's t shirt. There was crab in his eye. There's crab on his lips. Clearly, he's having a blast. For two years. Two years. I have not had flavor burst for two years. From Ambies in Bloomington. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no joke. No, no joke. There's nothing better. No joke. No joke. I, I couldn't be happier right now. If <laughs> <laughs> you need help, I can assist. You already assist assisting up. You took off the top. You want to switch so this? Where? Mine's no, a little no. bit better. Yours is melting. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't had this in two years. When my ice cream came up? Two summers. I was like, oh my gosh, yours is bigger, let me see. And he ate the top of my ice cream. Nothing is better. There's nothing better than that. Than going in the summertime, being at the beach with your significant other, your loved one, and grabbing some ice cream and food dinner. So we're bike riding today. Beg for a you don't gotta beg for nothing. We're bike riding today. <laughs> We're bike riding on the boardwalk. On the boardwalk, beautiful day, 79 degrees, nice breeze, bunch of people fishing, tons of people on the beach, a lot of people bike riding like us, and just enjoying the day. Beautiful September day. 
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And look out for our new content coming every week.